Hey, uh, my name's Nicholas. I was just wondering, like, what exactly you think about undocumented inter- immigrants? So what would you say about, like, the dairy industry and things like that, which, like, you know, their backs are built off of undocumented immigrants? Higher American. Higher American? Yeah, but um, then we'd have to, like, pay them more. Because exactly. Right now, we would have to pay them more. American and we, we, would, okay. we, we, we would see higher wages and the middle class in America would boom. Yeah, but, I mean, I th- I'm pretty sure a lot of, like, uh... A lot of people like fight against higher wages. Why is that exactly? Well, I'm sure corporations fight against higher wages. That's why they want a bunch of foreigners to take American jobs and keep wages low. Because so they don't want to pay their workers because it might decrease their profitability. So you are pro higher wages? Of course. So That's why I, I, want, I want people that work in the dairy industry or at Tyson Foods or that work with their hands to be able to flourish and buy a home and have an American way of life that is largely forgotten now for many of them. So um, what, what do you exactly classify as an American? Like, what if it's someone who did come, like, legally? U.S. passport holder. Okay, they, um, but even if they, like, came here legally? Well, I said le- illegally. Legally. Or, well, if they came legally. here legally, if they go through a process, they can get a U.S. passport, yeah. Okay. Until then, they're a visitor applying to be a member of our very large country. Okay, so pro-higher wages for Americans? Of course, yeah. Okay. Thank you. There's obviously a lot of bad people coming in illegally through the border, but there's also a lot of uh, good people that want to work hard that can't come legally due to the rampant corruption on the border. In some cases, it can cost up to 200,000 pesos to come in legally, and that's more than a Mexican citizen can make in their entire lifetime. So how can we like sell them the American dream but not let them in legally, the people that want to do good, um, not let them in legally to pursue that dream? Yeah, I, I, it doesn't matter if they want to do good. Just send them back to their country. I mean, there's a lot of Vietnamese that want to do good and come here, but they don't live close, so they don't border jump. Hi, guys. Welcome once again to Anger Fashion Store, and I'll be reacting to a video by Child Creek that shuts down um, pro border liberal. I need you to take out time to watch, take out time to watch, and comment under the comment section. You'll be curious to know what happened. Watch with me. So, okay. Hey, this is not their home. Go back to your home and go make Mexico great again. But it, they can't necessarily do that while the cartels are, are running the government. They have no upward mobility. And that's, we well, sell them then, the American then, then, dream. Then go fix your country. Because that's not the, my problem. Isn't that the point of America to no, sell so the American dream? What is the point of America? Is the point to bring in a bunch of foreigners? For, or is the point to protect our own citizens? Well, is we, it we, the foreigners of the United States? The foreigners are the ones that became the citizens. Well, is it? Well, that's the question. Were we founded by immigrants or founded by settlers? They're the same thing. No, they're not. Settlers come to something not built. Immigrants come to something already built. But all the all the immigrants that came to something already built that are now citizens. Fair enough. Yeah, they're here. But now we're not. We're still selling that dream, but not allowing them in in the proper yeah, way. Yeah, I mean, what do you mean by selling the dream? Of the American dream. That, that's still a huge talking point, and that's still a big yeah, dream I mean, that we have. You know, the American dream I want sold is for all American-born kids to be able to own a home and have a family and have kids. I'm sorry if the concern of, like, a third worlder in Honduras is not my primary concern like the a whole idea of a government is you put your people first you don't put the like compassionate narratives of someone in the third world first well what our country's falling apart most of you guys will not be able to own a home you're gonna be swimming in debt medical debt student loan debt credit card debt we're sending hundreds of millions of dollars to ukraine so yeah we, we should secure the border and put our put young people first and fulfill the social contract then we can worry about the third world wouldn't letting the individuals that want to come here and work hard and contribute to the country make it better for all American citizens? Has it? Uh, in the past, yes. Has it the last five years? Have the amount of illegals in this country made the country better for all people? Well, most of those individuals aren't, aren't the good people. Mm-hmm. So then if they want to be here so bad, we do have a legal process. So then let's go through the legal process. But the legal process is, is almost impossible for most people. Well, it's impossible for Mongolians too. Okay. So you, either we have an immigration system or we don't, and we're deciding we just let anyone in our country, no matter what, just because they're poor. Uh, my focus was more on the corruption. On the, um, the, the corruption is fine. System. We can fix it. That's fine. But my, my concern is why do we not put, especially American 18 to 20-year-olds first? You guys get the last of everything. Instead, the abstractions of the regime seem to take priority. So, gotcha. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Hi. Good afternoon, Mr. Kirk. Uh, I have a disagreement with your take on the border policy. Okay. 
to my understanding, uh, you said we should reduce the immigrant on the border to zero, correct? Well, um, a well, little bit by myself. My name is June. I just got out of the Marine Corps. My whole career is about war on terror. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Uh, well, at least that's what, that's what they told me when they throw me in Bahrain and told me on standby. I'm all about keeping the terrorists out of the country, but uh, I disagree with you because historically speaking, more than 12,000 Chinese laborers build the railroads for America in the 1800s. Not all of them are documented and legal. Thousands of Irish immigrants build the skyscrapers in New York. Not all of them are documented. No, they legal. did come in legally. That is true. The, the Irish did, yeah. But also, uh, back in the 1920s, all the way t up to 60s, uh, the government took the Legislative Act of Barcero Act that imports millions of Mexican workers for the labor work in this country. And why all of a sudden you want to close it down? And there's almost zero exposure on the northern border. Well, there are people crossing on the northern border too, but why do I want to shut it down? They're breaking the law. Should we not have the law that says you can't walk into the country without proper approval? Well, for the longest time, they can just... Well, no, hold on. The Irish release. came via Ellis Island. Okay. A every The Czechoslovakians came legally. The Polish came legally. So I, I, I don't know what group you're... I mean, the Chinese, I'll take your word for it. I would imagine they came through a port of entry and we knew who they were. But we have no idea who these people are on the southern border. We don't know their background. We don't know why they're here. It's 15,000 people a day that are illegally crossing into the country, breaking our laws. Okay, so for the past 50 years, there hasn't really been a fence or any sort of uh, process to deport them or catch them when they cross no, the border. No, that's not true. We've had deportations for the last 30 years. In fact, we, we did mass deportations in the early 2000s. Even Obama deported about a couple hundred thousand people a year. So why all of a sudden now everything, you, you want to tighten up everything? You know why? Because the border crisis has never been so bad. It used to be a couple hundred a day. Now it's 15,000 a day. Okay, so it's about the severity, not really about... It's both. It, I mean, I've always been a hawk on the border, but now it's reaching, a, 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 it's reaching a, such a point where illegals are taking over schools in Chicago and New York, disenfranchising native-born American social services. And not to mention... Um, the law is very clear. We have a process to come into this country, and they're deciding to break that law, which is a crime. Okay. Uh, is there a better approach to this besides just shutting up the border? Uh, yeah. Also have Mexico do it, which Trump did. Mexico could secure the border as well, and they're choosing not to. Yeah. Okay. Uh, well. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. How you doing, sir? I might have to go visit all those lunatics in a second. I do second, apologize so. if I said her. Not the best at public speaking. That's okay. Thank you for coming up. Of course. I was just going to ask, um, how do we morally deal with, because don't get me wrong, I am conservative. I do believe that illegal immigrants shouldn't come to the country and take up social welfare systems and all that. Um, how do we deal with cases where they came here illegally, they had a child, should we allow those parents to stay or allow that child to just have no, it's like, a good send question. the parents away? Yeah, just deport the whole family back even though the child has no connections, like to their family's home country. Oh, so they were smuggled into the country? No, born here. Like oh, if, the well, if they're born here, here they right. stay because they're a U.S. citizen. So I, was I, asking, I think we should get rid of birthright citizenship, but I don't get what I want, so. Wow, okay, um, this is very, very interesting. And um, part of the few things I want to um, digest from this Child Creek's information is that um, the American citizen should, sorry, the American government should always prioritize the American citizen. We understand that immigrants has actually formed most of the, um, the infrastructural development in America, just like China, um, the, the Chinese, just like the Asians. You know, they have actually taken time to help to develop the GDP of American. But the truth is that what's bad is bad. You know, you cannot allow illegality to rule legality. So I still think the government should be able to manage that situation. That's why I feel Donald Trump has been trying to cover the southern border during his last administration. He did his best to a point. And I still think he's going to still work on that again. I think from part of what I also learned too was that even down to Barack Obama deported over 100,000 
citizens from different countries who were illegally um, or who illegally migrated to America, you know, and these persons have been living on their social welfare and the real Americans have not been benefiting from this. So I think and I agree with what Charles Creek said. However, if anyone has been born in America, whether you are an illegal migrant, immigrant rather, you should be given the rights to stay in America as a child. But the parents may be deported back to their country. So tell me what you think about it. If you agree with what I said, if you agree with what Charlie Crick said, and say that in the comment section. And tell us the next video you want us to react to, okay? Like, comment, share, because Engel Fashion Store, fashion makes sense.